Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray. With me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is this European Championship group stage confrontation. It's Italy versus Austria. Thank you, Derek. It's just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything pointing to a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? This is the lineup for the home team. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Leonardo Bonucci plays with Giorgio Chiellini in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Ciro Immobile. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Well, sometimes there's no great mystery in terms of a team's preferred style and the visitors do like to press high, it's very much their game. Lee, would you expect to see more of that? Yeah, I think it's their preferred option for sure. It'll be interesting to see how high and how long they press for in this game. It's a really physical way of playing, that tactic suits them, but can they do it for all of the game? Konrad Leimer illegal play and hence a free kick Baumgartlinger and across the touch line so a throw in here Verratti on to Jorginho Verratti now with Jorginho Domenico Berardi pass after pass keeping their opponents moving that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him Jorginho can he put it away Intercepting it intelligently. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Tremendous challenge. Well, look at those stats, Derek. The host dominating possession over the last 15 minutes. Their play really deserves a goal. But you don't always get what you deserve in this game. We know that, Derek. It is to be a throw-in. Sasha Kalajic. Konrad Leimer. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Locatelli. Moving the ball forward with purpose.
Wow, what technique when the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this. What a goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Jorginho good visualisation and execution chance Florenzi and a strong glove on the ball from the keeper it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in a chance to whip it in he'll try his luck here fine goalkeeping to push that away so now a corner over it comes. Look at Telly. Wonderful block. Look at Telly. Immobile. Now in Signe. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half-time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. That is that for the first half here. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Chiro Immobile lost possession. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. The hosts have really controlled possession and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning and that's why they're one of the best teams. Well, he's lost the ball. And they continue to advance and a lot of options here. Foul there, free kick awarded. And with play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absent. Such a waste of a free kick when you miss as wildly as that. Well, there's groans from the fans as well. They didn't appreciate that long-range shot, for sure. Florenzi. Domenico Berardi. Ciro Immobile. In behind for him to chase. Offside, close one. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Well, far from textbook defending. He's in here. Zabica! And a goal! Well, here's the replay. It's lovely interplay between the two of them. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. certainly wasn't a clean tackle 
and the referee has got to book him I think and following that tackle he's got to go into the book yeah he's missed time more than anything there just mistimed his tackle that's a well struck pass did well to win the ball back Leonardo Spinazzola Spinazzola delivered into the box Verratti wonderfully weighted pass can he finish this? That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Arnautovic. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And very deftly cut out. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. And the referee blows the whistle, it is a free kick. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. This could be the equaliser. Was an important piece of defending. Only ten minutes remaining here. Marcel Zabitza. Good pass. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Jorginho. Chiro Immobile. When you're on a yellow card, you've really got to tread oh so carefully. He was already on a yellow card, and that has been deemed a second bookable offence. He's off late. Well, managers, coaches will be looking at that and tearing the hair out. What's he doing making a challenge like that when he's on a yellow card? And just the one minute left in normal time here. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. And well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3 1 it is. Marcel Zabitza and that's it for tonight full time and an encouraging start for them three points from their initial fixture lead well it's everything you want from the start of match one good strong start that result will give everybody confidence especially the players well done the one man who certainly caught the eye Chiro Immobile Lee what did you make of his contribution well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Statement of the match, a richly deserved lead, and now they can celebrate.